ready? Clutch Turker filmed before a live studio audience. Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, main subject of this video is... GPS units. Rand McNally and Garmin both have new GPS units coming out, or already out. And uh, I've already kind of looked, looked at both of them online, done some research, <clears throat> seen them in the stores. They're not available, like, uh, they're not available everywhere yet. The Rand McNally I haven't seen anywhere yet. The new 750 and the Garmin uh, I know they do sell at Love's uh, the Garmin uh, they have a new OTR series Garmin has three different sizes so we'll talk all about that and I'll tell you about um, why I'm gonna buy a specific one and when I plan to and why all the reasons of course then once I've bought it I'll do a whole other review uh, reviewing the whole thing and unboxing and everything once I get to that point but we're not to that point yet uh, I'm just going to tell you why I plan to one buy one over the other and give you all the details on that. Plus, uh, when I was home, I was just home a little while ago. Today is the, uh, what is it here, the 6th, Thursday of uh, August, and was able to pick up my signs that I had ordered. Now, I, I had ordered lettering before, and they didn't work out. I couldn't get them to go on the truck. But now I have, aha, actual signs. Can you get that in the shot there? Yep. Watch Clutch Trucker on YouTube. I got three of these. They're aluminum. Don't you love that sound? I'm gonna put them on the trailer. Uh, so I'm stopped right now temporarily here at a uh, pilot just east of Indianapolis because there's a huge uh, pile up, or uh, not a pile up, maybe just a wreck and uh, back up on I 70 East. I'm probably gonna have to take 40 to get around it. So while I'm here, I'm just kind of killing some time. I'm going to go ahead and put on the Watch a Clutch Trucker on YouTube signs. Why not? Uh, so, I'm going to get to that now, and then I'll record more as I'm going down the road all about the, uh, the GPS units. And then once I've got the signs put on, I'll show you some video on that too. First off, do you want to say real quick, yeah, I know it's been uh, like a week since I posted a video, and that's very unlike me. Beth commented on my last video where I said almost crashed. It's been since uh, the 31st. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just went home for a few days, uh, two and a half days at the house. Got to see the family, got to have some fun doing all that stuff. We actually went out to dinner. The restaurants are open in Cheyenne at 50% capacity. Uh, we got to go bowling. We got to play pinball at uh, Flippers, great little old school arcade we have downtown. Good times, baby. So then I got back on the road on Tuesday. It took me kind of a few days to kind of get back into to doing this. So here we go. Now the load that got me out of the house, I picked up down in Denver at uh, Waste Management, and uh, that, that doesn't sound good, does it? Um, it's actually recycled plastic. It's you know the the film that's wrapped around the pallets and everything of everything shipped to a Walmart. Well, they saved that, and uh, I had huge bales full of that plastic. 43,000 uh, pounds worth of it going all the way to uh, Winchester, Virginia for uh, the place that makes Trex decking. Uh, if you're familiar with that, uh, my front porch of my house is made out of this stuff. It's recycled uh, plastic bottles, recycled plastic of any kind. They press it down and they make decking uh, material out of it. Kind of cool. So that's uh, what I brought all the way over to Winchester, Virginia. Uh, I delivered this morning and that was the 7th Friday morning. Then went down and picked up another load. I've got lumber now going to Milan, Illinois. You never know what you're gonna have, crazy stuff. So I did the opening of the video when I was uh, stuck in uh, Indiana because they had some construction. Indiana's a mess right now. It's all under construction. And I guess there was some wreck that every, I got up and ready to go. And then I, I, my GPS warned me uh, that there's a huge uh, delay of like, you know, two and a half hours. So I waited it out for a while before I finally got going, but uh, I tell you. So speaking of the GPSs, uh, I kind of opened with that, and that's what we're going to talk about. Rand McNally and Garmin both have new versions of their trucker GPSs out. Okay, a little background. I know from whence I speak about these uh, things, the trucker GPSs, uh, because I've been doing this about 10 years now. Uh, I originally, for my first trucker GPS, had the, the Cobra 
remember when they used to make them? It was the Cobra 6 something or other. It really wasn't very good. It kind of sucked, actually. Uh, and so then uh, my next one I tried was uh, the Rand McNally. That was around the time the 720 came out. Uh, they had the 720 and the 520, five inch and seven inch screens. And I had the 720 and it lasted me oh, almost a year. And then it died, it died. Just stopped working, froze up all the time. That's one thing I didn't like about it, it froze up a lot. And then it completely just crapped out on me. Uh, so I, uh, see, after about a year, I think, I think that's when they came out with the 730, Rand McNally came out with that one. I had that one. That one, the screen fuzzed out on me and went all purple and then just stopped working. Um, I've had the 740, Rand McNally. It's also not very reliable. It also would freeze up. And it would always happen right when I'm really needing to follow it, like I'm in a major city and I'm coming up on an exit and... The whole damn thing would freeze up. So, uh, and then Rand McNally for the next few years kept trying to do these tablet ones. The Overdrive, Tablet 7, the Overdrive 8, Tablet ones. I never tried those. I know my buddy Jim, uh, I think he's tried a couple of them and I, I, he was kind of, you know, back and forth on them. Yeah. Rand McNally's better at the points of interest at, at, at the truck stops. They list more of them than the Garmin's do. But, you know, I have found, in general, in my experience, the Rand McNally's aren't reliable. And so it kind of piqued my interest when I saw, about a month ago or so, that Rand McNally's coming out with a new one, the 750. And they say, oh, it's got Rand 2.0 navigation. What does that mean? That means we just gave it a new name. That's all it means. It don't mean squat. Like I say, I know from whence I speak, and uh, I've had the Rand McNally, well, at first, like I say, it started with that Cobra, and it was garbage, and Cobra gave up after that. They stopped making GPSs, which is probably a good thing. Then Rand McNally, like I say, I've had the 720, I had the 730, I had the 740. I like the bigger screen. My buddy Jim, who has uh, bought my old truck, he usually likes the five inch screen. I like the bigger one, I'm an older guy. I, these are bifocals for crying out loud, you know? It, Hey, is that Will Shatner over there? That's some sort of Chris Farley reference. I can't see so good. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> I live in a van down by the river. Anyway. Okay, coming back from Tangent Land. Okay. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I've I had I've had three different Rand McNally versions: the 720, 730, 740, and they all crapped out on me. And they would all freeze up while I was using them. I was never happy with that. Finally, I got so disgusted with that, I tried uh, the Garmin. And the first one I tried was the, what, the 760, I believe it was. Again, I like the 7-inch screen. I like the bigger one. They made a 560. And I was fairly happy with that. It, it, I ran it for uh, quite a while, at least a couple of years. Remember, we're talking over a 10-year period here. Uh, and then... Um, they came out with a 770. I, I ran that one. I was fairly happy with that. Uh, the positive things about Garmin, for one, it doesn't freeze up while you're using it. I know my 770 sometimes while I'm running down the road would reset itself. But it would do it fairly quickly. Within like 20 seconds it would reset. Bing, the map's back up there. It's all good to go. The Red McNally used to freeze up and it was just stuck. And you had to unplug the whole thing and let it, you know, reset for like minutes before you could get it back. Well, now you've missed your exit. That doesn't help you. So, um, you know, I had the 760 Garmin. I've had the 770. And now I've been running the 780. And I've had that one, I think, in this truck for almost three years now. I've had it quite a while, and it's a really good unit. Uh, I know somebody commented on one of my videos, well, why, why don't you run the 785 with a built-in dash cam? Arr! That's a whole other issue. I'll tell you one thing. Rand McNally, okay, they're great on their paper map. I still have it right here. I use this for reference. You should always have a paper map as well as using your GPS because sometimes one of them's wrong. Use your brain. Use all your tools. But I found the Rand McNally uh, GPS is lacking because they just weren't built well and they didn't last. I mean, I, got no, I, I never got more than a year out of any of them, which is pretty sad. Rand McNally can't make a dash cam to save their life either, but that's not just against them. Garmin can't make a dash cam to save their life either. That's why I highly recommend do not get a Garmin GPS 
They make that 785 with a built-in dash cam. Don't do it. I, I had a Garmin uh, GPS that I was using just as the dash cam. It was the Diesel 600 series, I think. And I was just trying to use it as the dash cam. Dash cam overheated, burned up, burned up the whole unit. <clears throat> I've had, what, three different Garmin dash cams. I've had the Garmin 35. I had that Garmin Diesel 600 I was talking about. I had the Garmin uh, 65W. I love the features of that 65W. It's a tiny little thing. It's got a screen on it. Great features, easily transfer stuff to your phone, but it doesn't last. It, it overheats. It's not made for truckers when you're running the damn thing all the time. So Garmin, you make a great GPS, but you can't make a dash cam for... Uh, I like the Garmins in general. They're much easier to use. They're a little more user friendly. They don't have as... Now the big downside, the big caveat to a Garmin GPS, trucker GPS, they don't have all the locations and all the stops and everything that a Rand McNally has. But I need one that's going to last. I can't buy a new one every freaking year. And like I say, I've been running this 780 uh, happily in this truck for about three years now. And now Garmin's come out with a new one. I talked about that uh, Ram Magnelli coming out with their 750. I was kind of tempted. I kind of looked at that a little bit. And I'll tell you why I've decided completely against that. It's their history. The history I've had with Ram Magnelli GPSs, truck GP GPSs, none of them have lasted. Uh, and I looked at some reviews already about the 750 on Amazon. And they're saying the same thing about the 740, the 730, the 720. They don't last. It freezes. It burns up. It doesn't work. It won't hold a charge. I mean, there's no point in me even going there. I'm not going to shell out 400 bucks for your new version, which probably isn't any better than your old ones. Sorry, Rand McNally. Your GPS is kind of suck. So I've decided not to even go that route. So um, even though it's brand new, I'm, I'm not even going to try you. I've tried you so many times in the past, and you slapped me in the face. You kicked me in the teeth with an iron boot, Rand McNally. I'm not giving you any uh, chance anymore. I, I, I tried two of your dash cams. I've tried three of your GPSs. Do I have them any, any of those now? No, because they were all garbage. Okay, like I say, Garmin's uh, dash cams suck. Run away. But their trucker GPSs are good. They're easy to use, they're intuitive. They have uh, the voice command. Say a command. Okay, see there it is, it responds to voice command. That feature alone is so much easier to use when you're driving down the road and you're dealing with traffic and you just wanna shout out an address, it'll find it. And you can say, uh, voice command. Say a command. Find category. Speak a category. Truck stops. Searching for truck stops. How? Select a line number. How much easier can that be? It gives you a list, and like right now when I'm looking at it, it's got uh, an 83 dinner, diner and travel plaza 22 miles away. I can say one. One. Would you like to begin navigation? Yes. Start new route or add his next stop. Add his next stop. In one mile, turn left on Della Road. Now, can you get easier than that? I've had this thing for almost three years. It still works perfectly. I mean, that's handy. So I'm kind of excited about the new OTR uh, series of dash cam, or uh, GPSs, I'm sorry, from Garmin. So we'll dive into that. Garmin pioneered that whole voice command stuff on their GPSs, and it's a, it's a great feature. And they're including that in the new versions. They have this new series, the OTR series of uh, truck GPSs. They were usually called the Diesel series before, like the Diesel 780, which is the one I'm still currently running. Now, they've come out with three different sizes. The OTR 700, the OTR 800, and the OTR 1000. Now, they simply correspond to the size. The OTR 700, seven inch screen. OTR 800, eight inch screen. OTR 1000, 10 inch screen. Okay, like I said I, earlier, I'm an older guy. I got the bifocals on and all that. Uh, I want the 10 inch screen, baby. So as far as I can tell, the OTR series, the 7, 800, or 1000, seem to be just the newest version of the Garmin GPS. 
And like I say, uh, <laughs> that 10 inch one, that, that's intrigued me. I, I like a really big one. I want that one, baby. I want the 10 inch, baby. Thank you. And I've got some pictures I can show between the two. I, I did, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, I have the pictures of the uh, Rand McNally one. Uh, one advantage to the 10 inch uh, Garmin OTR 1000, you can run it in either portrait mode or landscape mode. Landscape being the wider, portrait being the up and down. It switches kind of like your phone will. Uh, so you can run it either way. I'm going to run it landscape once I get it. One other thing I really like about my Garmin 780 that I currently run is it uh, does updates over Wi-Fi. It'll update the maps, it'll update the uh, system configuration over Wi-Fi. I've updated this one I think a couple of times now. And uh, so it even has some of the newest Loves, because Loves is building truck stops freaking everywhere. It has some of the newest ones on there I didn't expect that it would have, and it, and it does have those. The new uh, OTR series of Garmin uh, GPSs is going to do that as well. And it's just going to have more improvements. It's uh, supposed to have some 3D stuff, uh, like buildings. That's one thing Rand McNally is touting. Oh, wait, we show you 3D buildings. Uh, well, uh, okay, I, I don't plan on driving into a building. So that's not kind of a big deal to me, Rand McNally. Can you make sure I kind of drive around the buildings and not crash? Anyway, um, my experience, my history has uh, proven that the Garmin GPS, Trucker GPS, is the more reliable unit. So I'm going to give the OTR 1000 a try. Here's the big caveat. It's really freaking expensive. Okay, I've, I've seen um, the Rand McNally 750 is now available at Pilots. I've seen that. I uh, just saw that today. Uh, like I said, the Loves has the uh, Garmin's, uh, the new units available. I think the Pilots even have the, the new uh, Garmin's as well. Problem is, the OTR 700, they want $399 for it, 400 bucks. OTR 800, <clears throat> the 80 screen, uh, they want $599, $600 for that. And guess how much they want for the 10 inch screen? 800 bucks! Uh, but if you watch my videos about taking advantage of the TA uh, Petro Ultra One points program, as I do, I'm racking up quite a few points. I'm at, uh, I think, $289 worth of points right now. Now, the uh, Garmin new series of OTR uh, GPSs is not available in TAs and Petros yet, which is probably good for me because then that's gonna make me wait and make me rack my points up more because the more points I can use to buy the damn thing as opposed to spending the cash, that's gonna be better for me and that's kind of what I'm aiming for. So that's kind of where I stand right now. I've decided, Ren McNally, I, I, I gave you chances over and over and over, you let me down uh, for the GPS. Garmin, I've liked your GPS units. Uh, they're good. Um, like I said, this one I have right now, it, tell, it told me yesterday about the huge backup in Indiana. So I didn't even jump out on the road yet because it told me I had a two and a half hour delay. Uh, you can sync it up with your phone and you'll get real live traffic. Now the new Rand McNally is supposed to do that too, but like I say, Rand McNally, you, you, you hurt me in the past. I'm sorry, I just can't go back to you, I can't. So I want the uh, OTR 1000, the new one from Garmin, but $800, wow. So I'm gonna try to rack up points for another month or two, probably before I buy the damn thing. So I don't have to spend more than two or $300 in cash to get this. Uh, and then once I buy it, I'll do an unboxing, I'll do, uh, I'll run it for a little while, and I will do a full-fledged review on it. I just kinda wanted to let you know what's out there right now, what's happening, and my experience with both of these companies and their trucker GPS units in my opinion, you need to run away from the Rand McNally, I think. You know, maybe some of you have had better experiences with it, but I, I haven't. And, you know, uh, it was one, once bitten, twice shy. You know, uh, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. All right, that's another movie reference. What, Night at the Museum, right? Anyway, I know this has gone on way too long, and I'm sorry. And I showed you earlier my uh, watch clutch trucker on the YouTube signs. So let me show you where I put those on the trailer.
So here I am stuck in, I'm, I'm in a little uh, Tom's uh, convenience store with some truck parking in uh, Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania. After I got loaded in Baltimore, I just wanted to get, I, I wasn't going to stay at the TA in Baltimore. That place is scary town. So made it up the road to here. There's some truck spots, so I'm staying here for the night. Uh, so look for more videos coming up. Um, somebody suggested, hey, do one all about your favorite CB. Going to do one all about that. I've still got other ones in line, in the in the tube, in the pike, uh, on the list, uh, ready to go. I've just got to get to doing them. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I uh, hope this gave you some information. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe. Please like, please comment. I do get your comments. Say a command. There goes the GPS again. It takes me a day or two, but sometimes, uh, but sometimes, but I do get to them. Uh, and uh, like, ring that bell for notification. As always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Watch out.